Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. My name is Patty, and today I wanna to share with you how I was able to do my own high ceiling curtain, literally like hanging from the top of my ceiling all the way down. I have high ceilings, you guys. So I actually, when I first did this, I went on YouTube and I started researching how to do my own curtains, um, except no one could tell me how to do the curtains that I needed, which was for high ceilings. And I was trying to figure out how can I do curtains myself? Because if you don't know, these curtains cost about $800 to a thousand, sometimes even more, depending on what material you want. And that was so out of my budget. When, I mean, when you're a first time homeowner and you're moving everything in and you're having to buy furniture and just everything for your home, you don't have the extra funds to be able to get freaking eight hundred thousand dollar drapes so this was so out of my budget and i was like no i have to find a different way but i it was something that i definitely wanted in my living room and i found a way to make them functional it's not only are these drapes super expensive but when i went for the consultation they were telling me that they're just for decoration i wasn't even going to be able to move these around and i was like are you kidding me uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't always open and close them, but if I wanted to, I can actually do that. So the fact that I did this like way below the price they were charging me for, and I did it uh, on my own, like I am super happy. I can actually move these around. If I want to close my, my curtains, I can so do if that. If you want to know how I created these super long curtains for my tall ceilings, keep on watching. So this is the tape that I use. It's called fabric tape. It's very lightweight. You can sort of see through it. And this is the adhesive that's going to attach the fabric together. I'm going to be showing you a sample on a different type of fabric. This is actually not my curtains. It's a skirt torn off on one part of it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be showing you on this fabric. But this is the exact same thing that I did for my curtains. So now that I have it in place, you just put the heat on it and it automatically glues it together. It's so amazing and so easy. Here I'm showing you the other side of the skirt where it's torn so you can see and have a better view of what I'm going to be fixing. This fabric that I'm using is actually a lot thinner than the curtain fabric that I used. So just to take note, um, it worked really easily. As soon as I put the heat, it attached and it worked so awesome. Also keep in mind, I did not have to do any cutting for the fabric. I ordered exactly what I needed and all I had to do was add the adhesive to the raw edges of the fabric. So here you go. I am showing you where the stitches were missing and how it is attached now. It's actually better than with the stitches itself. <laughs> uh, look at that. And it's pretty, it's holding on with like a really nice grip. I'm going to be leaving you the link down below in the description box of the video so that you know exactly what tape I used. And to be honest with you, it was the cheapest one that I found. I actually looked up reviews for this tape and it had amazing raving reviews so I know that it was going to work. Just another close up of how well it is stitched together and how the natural stitches of this skirt actually look before which is not that great. <laughs> So all you have to do is choose the color and the pattern of your fabric that you want for your long drapes. And this is how you're going to stitch it together with the tape. There's no needle, scissors, and cutting, and none of that needed. This is so easy and simple. And it's just the best way that it worked for me because I didn't have anyone to be able to do this for me, sew anything for me, and I did it all on my own, you guys. Next, I used these rings, clips that I ordered online, uh, but I think you can also find them at Walmart and any crafting store, actually. And this is a pack of like 40 that I used. I did my best to equally separate them so that it would all be even and the weight of the curtain, since it's so heavy and long, would be shared within the rings. 
As far as the installation of the curtain rod, you guys, it was a professional uh, that actually painted my house and they were able to install the curtain rod for me. And the curtain rod, I actually bought it at Ross as well. And it's one inch thick. The fabric that I chose was from Walmart and I will be leaving you the item and model number below so you know exactly which one it was. And here I want to give you a close up of the edge that I sealed with the adhesive. This is all I did you guys. So only a close up check of your curtains will give away your secret. But to be honest they look beautiful and they're like a wow statement in your living room and your wall. And they just look amazing. No one ever even notices how they are not perfectly done. <laughs> the curtains are not perfect. Like I'm not, you know, like I'm not a professional at this. I'm just a, a homeowner and I wanted drapes for my cur for my walls. <laughs> so this is the way that I had to do it myself. But I'm proud of them. Everybody like can't believe that I actually did this. And my grandma was so proud of me, which was like, the most rewarding feeling ever like if my grandmother approves like i approve and i'm happy be sure to like this video if it helped you in any way or to subscribe down below for more diy videos yay and i will see you on the next one